The Elder Scrolls V Skyrim is rated M for mature audiences, 17 and older, for blood and gore, intense violence, sexual themes, and use of alcohol. Viewer discretion is advised. Alright guys, uh, welcome to the bonus video of uh, Let's Play Skyrim Set 2. This is for the Totems of Hircine, which is a part of the uh, companion quest line. I'm going to put it like this so people don't run around. Excuse me, lock off. Much better. Okay. The, to the Totems of Hircine are three totems that further increase your abilities as a werewolf. Um, if you have the Dawnguard DLC, this becomes even more important because uh, the werewolf skill tree you get for uh, all this fun stuff and stuff <laughs> for the Companions Quest line gets uh, has uh, four specific uh, perks that you get that are directly connected to the Totems of Hearsing. I will demonstrate them all as soon as this is all done. So Good let's to go talk you, to uh, Ayala because we need to talk to her for it. Harbinger, I'd be honored if you joined me in my search. I had once heard Skior and Kotlak talking about the Totems of Hersing. Simple looking objects that could channel the powers of the werewolf in new directions. Once Kodlak began looking for his cure, I'd wager Skior didn't bring it up again. But I was going through his things and found a book I had never seen before, all about the totems. I've been talking to my sources around the holds and think I may have heard where one of them lives. Wanna come along? We hunt together. Alright, so we're starting the uh, first quest of the Totems of Hearsing. <clears throat> like I said, there are three that uh, you can use. I believe you can only do this after you become Harbinger of the Companions. I'm not 100% sure on that. Um, if that is not the case, as in you're able to do it before, feel free to leave a comment um, saying otherwise. If not, uh, while I'm editing this, I'll probably look it up, and I will put a little annotation saying that I was wrong here. So, if I'm wrong, I'm wrong. Oh well. I did spend time off screen and leveled up my werewolf skill tree to max, so I am a mastered werewolf. I even got the trophy for it. So let's see, where do we need to go? All the way over here. Oh. Hmm. Okay. I think I know what this one is. I think this is a cave protected by a bear with a bear inside of it. And there are a shit ton of uh, honeycombs outside where you can steal bees and get honeycombs for honey stuff and stuff for alchemy and stuff. Stuff. <laughs> okay. said to uh, novice when I'm uh, level grinding for the forms like that. It makes it a whole lot easier to get done. I right, can see here. Honeycomb. There's no one up here. One over here, and there's even some bees buzzing around somewhere. First totem of piercing. Do you have it? These you are have it? Uh, randomly spawning locations, I believe. That definitely matches the description of the totem from Skior's old book. Let's get it to the Underforge. As I was saying before, Ayala so rudely interrupted me. I believe the locations are randomized. They appear in uh, certain relatively easy dungeons to go through, or uh, places like this. Alright, let's go. Now, I'm only going to be recording the uh, me getting the totems of Hearsing and explaining what they do. 
So it will be uh, relatively short set. It won't show me doing all the, all the other little things I need to do. I believe in between each totem quest, you have to do a quest for Ayala or one of the other circle members. There we go. Get there. There we go. Okay. Hit it. Come on. That's gonna hurt. Oh, it didn't hurt. Alrighty. Alright. First. Where's the other? There she is. Okay. That's the first totem. Naela will uh, pray to it. You may come here every so often and find her there. Totem of the Hunt. Alright, so we have the effect now. <clears throat> what does that do? Powers. Active effects. There's not shame. I believe... Oh, I can't remember. Damn it. I'll try it out later. Alright, um... Let's see if Ayla has any request for us. Let us... Save here. Come on. If she has another uh, totem of piercing quest, uh, we'll do that right away. But Good not, I'll you, uh, be back in a second. A citizen of Winterhold has asked for our help. It seems that a. All right, so I uh, will be right back in a second. All right, guys, and um, I'm back. So I'll pause this so she doesn't run off. Um, I did the research and I find out what the, the totems do. I will tell you at the end of the uh, bonus set what they do and demonstrate one of them. Um. I was right about you have to be a harbinger, harbinger first to be able to start these quest line, this quest line. Also, if you have the Dragonborn DLC, she may send you off to do quests over in the uh, other area, so be cautious. Harbinger, I'd be honored if you joined me in my search. I think I've located another one of the totems. Come with me, and we'll write ourselves into their history. We hunt together. So where's the next one? It's all the arrow. It's over that way. Ah, it's just the wrong way. Oh, haven't been up there yet. Right, let's see. What's the furthest way up there? I didn't expect that it to be there. <laughs> oh well, it shouldn't be too hard to get to. <clears throat> I know I've killed the dragon here already, but I'm not sure if it's still dead. I have a tendency of respawning. Okay, he's dead. Although his corpse is pretty much kind of weird. Side of the rock face. Get up there, there we go. And they go that way, right? Right. It's just telling me to go this way just so I can go through the cave so I can do the proper way to get there. But when have I ever done anything proper? Oh, my character's gonna be a vampire and she's gonna be married to a werewolf. Who's also a woman, one of my characters as well, so. But in US, my character is not proper in the slightest. There we go. Oh. 
Bloodlet Throne. That sounds awesome. Why the hell does this place sound so fucking familiar? I can't place it where, though. I have to cut this part out, jeez. There we go. It's right there. It's not fair. Oh, this is a, uh... uh this is a Dongar... ...quest. Or area. I just don't really remember... Purpose of this area. Oh, I think I know what it is now. Uh, this is part of a quest line, a uh, bonus quest line in, uh, Frick. In the Vampire Sideline. Maybe. I could get my way through there, huh? but I'm not gonna do that. Uh, uh -huh. Bye bye. God, I love those glowing eyes. I'm killing people. Of course, I'm gonna be stealing shit. Jeez. Apparently some of the areas that can become available for uh, the quest lines that for, are from Vanilla Skyrim will appear in the DLC ones as well. I didn't know that. Of course, it's down. Ah! 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 
place then. Or cleared 50. Silver one. And here's the totem. Do you have it? Yeah, there she is. That definitely matches the description of the totem from Skior's old book. Let's get it to the Underforge. You guys got to see a uh, Dongard dungeon. That's pretty cool. surface uh, area, like the cave just a few minutes ago, the first time. Ugh, bastards. Oh well. Crap, I didn't jump. Alright, into the cave we go. Actually, like this one. Good to see you, dear. A citizen of the. Hi, guys, and I'm back. This is the final uh, totem of Hearsene. I'm pausing it so Hannah doesn't fall back to sleep. This is the uh, last one, so let's get to it. Harbinger, I'd be honored if you joined me in my search. I finally tracked down the last of the totems, I think. The information wasn't easy to come by, but everyone has a price and a pain threshold. Want to come along? We hunt together. All right, let's go do it. There we are. So, where's the last uh, totem of here seen at? Well, it's not the end of some, you know, dwarven or dwemer ruin. <sighs> Could do an entire freaking part just. Delving into one of those places. Excuse me. All right. Come on. There we go. So where is it? Oh, it's out in the open. Alrighty. That's pretty easy to do. Come on. Hey, we're here. Across the sword, I think there's a uh, monster in here. Something. Ah, never mind. That's a dead thing for Ironic. Alright, last totem of piercing. Okay. Now, where's Ayala? There she is. Do you have it? That definitely matches the description of the totem from Skior's old book. Let's get it to the Underforge. Well, that was an insanely easy one. <laughs> Although I can kind of see why a uh, necromancer would have that specific totem. After all, it is uh, 
It does look kind of necromatic, I guess. Necromatic? Necromantic? Looks like something a necromancer would use. Maybe as a hat. So we have three totems of piercing. Hey, I was going to uh, pray to it now. I'm going to turn off this indicator. Okay. Now to tell you about the totems of piercing. <clears throat> the totems of piercing give you a uh, unique ability for your werewolf form. You activate it by using like a shout R2 or whatever button it is for the PC and uh, Xbox 360, Xbox version. The first totem, the totem of the hunt, allows you to use the detect life ability, which is like uh, aura whisper. You can see enemies uh, through walls. This one, the Totem of Brotherhood, allows you to summon two wolf spirits to help you. The final one, the Totem of Fear, uh, allows you to use fear, ca uh, causes you to use fear against enemies, so that you howl and they run away and shit themselves. <clears throat> However, comma, I'm going to show you this once we get outside and into an area where we won't be uh, seen, and I'll transform, and I'll uh, show you the Totem of Brotherhood, as well as the completed werewolf skill tree. I think it takes 140 enemies for you to uh, master it. Or 140 feedings. Somewhere around there. Who's that? Huh, an orc. I'll, uh... There's a wolf in the background attacking a deer. Come on. There we go. Here's the completed skill tree. You get uh, 4 for bestial strength, gives you 100% more damage. The vigor gives you 100 extra points towards your health and stamina while in beast form. Gorging, feeding on, uh, feeding uh, heals you twice as much. And savage feeding allows you to feed off any organic creature. Um, this will, you know, be animals, Falmer, Charnos, whatever they're called, dragons I even believe. Um, it allows you to get eat their hearts. Um, it provides you with half the extended time, and I believe even half the experience. But it still means you can just run around out in the field and kill shit, and get exp for it. The Totem of Fear abil Terror ability allows you to uh, affect higher level creatures. Um, basically, you can put fear on creatures that are even higher than uh, normal. Totem of the Predator, which is uh, allows the Totem of Hunt, which is the Detect Life ability. To see farther, it also shows enemies that are not in compact, searching, or actively fighting something. And then down here, the Totem of Ice Brothers allows you to summon two Ice Wolves instead of two Normal Wolves. Uh, ice Wolves are a lot stronger than Normal Wolves, so it's really helpful to have. And the final one, Totem of the Moon, allows you to summon Werewolves instead of Wolves. And since I have that ability, let's summon them. There they are. And they act like followers and help you in battle. Which is really cool. Now there are two invisible wolves here. Or dead wolves. Alright, so that is the Totem of Hearsing quest. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed it and hope you found it this uh, questline helpful. 
And I shall see you guys in the next set. Um, I believe we'll be conquering the Dongard DLC. So, look forward to it. See you guys then. Thank you for watching the LP. If you liked it, feel free to like and subscribe to our channel. It really does mean a lot to me to see you guys liking my LPs. If you want to keep up to date on all the Metamoris going on, like us on Facebook and visit our website, links to which can be found on the main pages about section. Anyway, thank you again, and I shall see you guys next time. Bye!